Hi, Carol back, and this is part two. I'm sorry I did not get it done in the first part, but just a little bit too many elements. So here's my card, and I like the way it turned out. I've got the dimensionals on here, and the thing I want you to remember, because I didn't and had to take it off and switch it around, is you want both flaps for the ribbon to be like this. I had it turned around, so to save time, I've got it all with dimensionals underneath, and we are going to get on with our lattice. So here's how it turned out like this. Now, I put re reinforcements on the back just because the glue is all sticky, and I'm going to raise this up. So I want, um, you know, I want it to look nice. And then I cut out a piece here, a little bit bigger to go behind there so that it gave me the green that's around the edges. So you're going to want to do this. Uh, because I want this raised, I don't want it stuck to here. So use some snail and then just gently um, hold it up. Oh, I'm going to have to fill that up. Let me grab my another roll. Generally I have one right behind me. Not today. Uh, hmm. The old ATG is coming out. Here we go. Okay, so this is my uh, half inch let me feel where I am here. Okay, so um, what you want to do with this is just put it behind here to get where it is you're going to need it to be glued down like that. Take your card, hold it like this, then even it up like nice and even so your window looks good. There. And then you can remove this, and that's where your backdrop is going to be, like so. Alrighty, now, um, I ran the top piece to this. Remember we used the center? Sorry, this is going to be it here. This is going down over top. And then this is the center one on the first video. You'll see that because it is a window effect. And then this one, uh, oh, this is left over. Um, the window one, I wanted it raised up. And it looks so pretty over top here like that. Now, you can decide, do I want to have a totally white card? Do I want to add some um, color, you know, to it? And as I'm looking at it, I am thinking I may, because my seam binding ribbon, I told you it would come back to me, is off-white. So I'm going to be putting some color on here. But I'm also making these gorgeous little daisy uh, type flowers that are so easy to make. And um, they're cute because, I mean, what is a trellis card without some flowers on it. So I'm going to make these and they are going to be, um, excuse me, I'm just getting scissors. They are going to be, taking the middle out here, it's too big. There we go. Just gives me more to clean up. There. So I'll show you what I'm going to do with this. We're just going to sponge. You're going to take your sponge and I want to have some old olive and you know how I always put my makeup sponges in each one of my Stampin' Up! inks just in case I need to use that type. So if I take this out it actually should have, well this is an older, this is one of the older um, stamps. I don't know if I have all of them in there but I want to have pool party here. Oh this is an older stamp too. It's not the new one but they're not used. <laughs> So it's okay. So I have decided what I want to do with this. I'm going to add a little bit of color. 
to it. I'm going to leave the under white and let's just, let's get this down already. This is going to get raised up with dimensionals. So um, I'm running out of dimensionals here, of course. So let's get them on here. And we're going to have quite a bit raised up. Yep. I got to get using that other camera because. Let me grab a pack. Because uh, then I could just pause. <laughs> That's why I bought it. Takes me a while to catch on to that. So here we go. We're back in. So let's get this raised up. Like so. And I'm going to use some of this on the other one, but take my pokey tool and let's get this off. This uses up my time right here, just taking these ends off. I mean, can you believe this winter? I had to go put a sweater on in my house and I have it set as, I never set my house time at like temperature at 70. I always have it at 68, I like it cool. I had to put it up to 72 because we're minus 22 and that's without the chill factor. And, um, yeah, I mean, it just seems like winter has lasted way too long. Now, if you like winter sports and you're young and like to ski and snowmobile and all that stuff I used to do as a youth, well, this winter's for you, bonus. But, you know, when you're old, and you, you just don't like it. <laughs> I can't make up anything to, to, to say that's nice. I, I just don't like it anymore. I don't like the winter. So you just deal with it. There we go. So now I am going to do some little bit of old olive on here just because it looks a little plain. Let's figure out how we want this. You know how I want it? Even. That's how I want it. There we go. That looks nice. Then we are going to take our lattice that I have it all ready. And I want that raised up as well. Oh my shattered nerves. I gotta do this again. So that's one. You know what I'm going to do too? I'm just going to do the corners and then I'm going to add the outside edge because it just takes, how much time do I have left on here? Oh my, it uses up my time. So let's just take this and let's use this. I love this for this reason alone. Look at that. And come down here. This is great. My bull mastiff cinnamon. I can hear her snoring right next. She's in my room next door. So if you hear it, I'm not snoring at the same time. She loves her sleep fests, I'll tell you that. That's my rescue dog. She is the best bull mastiff ever. And I've had a few. Kindest dog you ever want to meet. But I wouldn't want to tick her off. How's that? You know, you might look like you're kind, but you don't want to be stepping on the mouth that feeds you. I always say. And trust me, this card will be nice when I'm finished. If, if you're watching this, wow, thank you. <laughs> 
If you endured two, a whole hour of watching her do this card, I applaud you. But you know what? I don't mind watching part one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. If I want to see how something's done and I want to case it, I'll watch it. Doesn't matter. You know? What else am I going to do? All right. So, here's the lattice. And it's going on. Just like that. Oh, you can't get any nicer. You know that? You really can't. That is so pretty. Look at that. Isn't that gorgeous? All right, now, I want to add this. And I want it to be in the pool party. But I'm just going to see if this has enough pool party. Because this is the older, not so juicy one. We will see. I may want to sponge that. Let me look straight on and see if I can get... Um, I want pool party. Just a second. Pool party. Come on. Uh, wild wasabi. That's not bad either. Just a second. I might switch over. Let's see. We may be able to use different colors. We'll see. Oh yeah, those nice juicy ones are much better. Look at that. That's nice. Okay, let's break that out. Loving it. Okay, let's get our glue dots. I know I have some in here. I'm telling you, I cannot wait till my sister gets here. Even though I am organized as far as my desk, but I'm imploding. Like if you watch my, I, I keep saying if you watch my YouTube, but if you do, you know I, I, I don't stop buying. And you you have to. You, my, my BFF just told me, Carol, you have to resist. You cannot go in those thrift stores. You, you just have to. And I said, when's the last time you were in one? <laughs> well, that's a different story, she said. But I don't have all the craft stuff you have. And I said, I know, I know. I'm going to try. Can you imagine if the weather was nice, how much stuff I'd have in this room? I've been doing everything online. I've been ordering everything online. So I'm going to put that there for now. And I'm going to break it open like this. I really like it. And I am going to add pearls in there. I think it goes with the lattice look because of it being uh, the same, you know, like just broken leaves. And um, broken... Um, i got to turn on my glue gun, excuse me. I'm going to have to add a little bit of glue, and I didn't think to have that on. Now it is. Right beside me. Okay. See how I know where things are? I know where they are. So I'm going to take a little bit of this uh, Baja Breeze and squish this. Oh, look at that. Boo-boo time. That's really good because... All you do with that is we're just going to add some Baja Breeze there. Let me see. There's something, this is pool party. That's not looking like pool party to me. Let me see. Oh, I guess it is. Okay. My sponge must have had green on it. So, embellish. When you make a mistake, I'll go over some of the white with the pool party so it looks like I'm doing it intentionally. There we are. There. Okay, and then I'm going to take, um, I guess I'm going to have to do it like this. All right. I want it to look like uh, it actually has some, like I did this on purpose because I didn't, but now I am. Look at that. So I'm going to take corner to corner. That's not bad. I don't mind the look. 
And the person receiving this is going to think I did that on purpose. So that's okay. So now when I put this frame on, I'm not touching this frame. This frame will be, uh, let me lift that up. Yikes. I want to get this on first. This frame is going to be not raised up because then they can't see inside it. Excellent. Okay, so let's get that on. No, I'm going to use double-sided tape quickly. There we go. And uh, we'll get that on. Uh, yikes, oh yikes, so I want this to be the back. I had, uh, my sister gave me a list of things that I have to do in my room. So when she comes, she doesn't like to waste time. So I have got to separate all of my paper, my embellishments, my everything. And she said, if we have to go to Ikea, are you willing to buy new stuff? Because you're, I want you to be efficient. And if you do... We're gonna have to do that. And they're okay, whatever. Just kind of don't uh, take everything out of my room. I mean, I just bought a whole lot of units. I don't want to replace them with IKEA. I don't have to. I'm telling you, it's, an, it's one thing to replace your glue runner, but to replace a unit of, you know, supply unit. Yikes! That's too much for me. Look at that. Tell me that is not beautiful. Loving it. Okay, now we can add this uh, with our glue back on with our glue dot. Press it down. Okay, now what do I want to do as far as a ribbon in there? Um, let's do this first. Let us, I did, oh my, which one is this one? Did I not heat this one? Is that is way too funny. Okay, we get to do that too. I forgot to heat it. I was going to heat set it and I didn't do it. So, let, <laughs> uh, just another thing. Okay, so let's get our sentiment out right here and let's start like it never happened. I, ha I thought I had it already and I thought that I heat set it. I am using the uh, early espresso embossing powder and we might as well do it all right let's just do it all okay and uh, let's get that on there and I'll turn around and grab my Versamark and let's get her done I want to be careful that I don't um, like I'm doing it like this, I just want to show you. I'm not pressing it like from this way down because you get those marks that you don't want to have on the edges. So I'm just patting it like that. I'm going to take my embossing buddy. I know he's around here somewhere. Um, because I just used him. There we are. That is so funny. I had it ready for us to just go ahead and go. I'll download. I did a video on uh, the inks. What inks take to embossing powders and what inks do not. And it was quite informative. I thought. There we go. And let's get that in the. See? I'm being efficient. Close that up. I'm going to have to move those aside for just a minute. You can tell I don't like things to be like coming in at me, can't you? All right, so there's our card. Here's our happy birthday. I did the early espresso because there is some of that in the... Um, actual cardstock here. If you look, 
can see it there. There you go. So there is some. There we go. Put this back in and we may get a card in part two. And I want to thank you for dropping by my craft room, for checking out this card. And it won't take as long as it just took me because I had to do it in a few, you know, I started the camera, had to answer the phone. Tonight I am going to have my new camcorder going so that I don't have to um, do this. Okay, let's heat set this. And I'm going to just, excuse me, makes a little bit of noise. And one thing I learned uh, in the last little while as I was watching videos that you should not do this. You should not um, like go round and round and round and come back. You should stay at where you are and when you see it set, like when you see it doing its thing, just bring it down and let it one time heat because Instead of going back and forth like this, you're going to burn it. And uh, I don't know where I saw this on, and it made perfect sense. Because people want to go like this, and then they go back, and some of it is not embossed. But yet, you know, they don't know that. So once you see it is, pull away. That's our problem as stampers. We don't want to pull away. We want to just, you know... Make sure, make sure. Well, that's all you have to do. I heard to start at the top, start at the bottom, fold it up, and that's it. So, let's make, uh, let's cut this. Put it on here. There we go. Make sure I did it, saying all that, okay? And I'm going to make a flag out of it. So, you just want to cut it down. Cut it in the center, like so, and then meet up from the corners, like that, and you'll have a perfect flag every time. Just don't press down on it like I just did. Okay, there we are. Go down the halfway, and one, and there we are. Nice flag. <sighs> My hands are full of that um, embossing powder. Put it in the garbage there. And I'm going to sponge this with my old olive. Just guessing at it, but it is. Once you get it on, you can see it's all olive. Using the Stampin' Up sponge here. I ordered so many packs of this last year. I think I ordered, uh, they were on sale. I think I ordered 15 packs of, of sponges, at least. That and dimensionals and, or, I'm sorry, glue dots. Oh. There, that looks nice, doesn't it? Then let's take this and we'll glue that on with your runner. I think I'll just go right down the middle like that. And I think it gives it a nice flare like that. Looky, looky. And I don't like these scissors. I do that right now because the point is not pointy enough. These are the best detailed scissors. I got them at Michael's for $5. They were $38. And they're embroidery scissors, but the point on them is miraculous. I do all my fussy cutting with these. So let's come down. Like, oh, look at, beautiful. Beautiful. If you, you know, look at that. Choosing not to um, do the edges here. 
This has nothing to do with uh, it's my eyesight. I don't have my good glasses on. And um, there, look at that. Okay, now I want to bring it up like this. Right? So it's going to go, that's going to go in the garbage or on the floor. Pick it up later. There's my card. And this is going to go like this. So, um, let's get your glue dots ready. And let's hurry this card up because I don't want to go into another. Here they are. So let's get a few glue dots going on the back right here. Two and two. Nice little pile there. Okay, might as well do the other side, right? One. Two. And I don't think I'll run out of these dimensionals for a while. When you order stuff in bulk like that, it saves you. It really does. Now I want it to be up on the lattice and up on the lattice. It's going to go in bubble wrap. With, uh, it's going to go, no, sorry, it's going to go in um, um, a plastic, like a, uh, I'm sorry, a see-through bag. You know the bags? Because it's going in with a gift. Okay? So I'm not as fussy to worry about the warp on it like that. There you have it, like so. We have a couple of minutes, so I want to show you how I did this quickly. You take a half an inch strip, you take your scissors, your grass scissors, and you quickly grass up. Um, it's kind of nice to have them even, but it's not necessary. And as quick as you can, I have out my uh, quilling tool to fold it. But it, you know, like I say, whatever you have and whatever you're comfortable working with is nice. And then I just stick it in my quilling tool. Maybe in the last little bit. There we go. Doesn't have to be all the way in. Well, it isn't now, right? Get that. <laughs> ah, I should put my proper glasses on here. But I think you get the drift. Maybe you can slide it up through there. You know what happens with these tools? You end up using them for... Um, I mean, I can see it wants to... Oh, there it is. Okay. You end up using it for other things. And then you go to use it what you need it for. And it's got glue and all kinds of stuff all over it. And that's all I did, and I guess you could do that just winding it up. It's so much easier with the quilling tool. There you go. Take it out. I am going to glue gun, glue with my glue gun the bottom here. Um, can't reach it. Because I think it'll be much easier to do it this way. Then it cer it'd certainly be quicker. So you can add that like this right beside it and go like this 